paper being thin, you can stretch it easily because it, um, it will pull out. Uh, if I go like that, a lot of the colour will lift off, even some of that colour from the towel will probably go on. But you see how it sort of pulls back a little bit? Pull back. Yeah, careful. Oh, good. And you have a thing called <coughs> Magic Cleaner. I have a lot with me. Off the... Um, off... Um, Jenny, Jenny. Sheila. Sheila. Yeah. <laughs> you won't get rid of the bullet holes, but you will actually get rid of a lot of colour. <laughs> and even those colours, even those colours in here, uh, will sort of blend and work in. in I'm not going to rub out all my total drawing. I can see a little bit of my drawing there. But if I were saying, how oh, I want to want to dry that a little bit more, um, I can, and then I, I paint from wet to dry, I can paint sometimes wet to dry from there, so it make the background dry and build up from, or nearly dry, and build up from wet to dry, so it's actually quite interesting to do it that way sometimes. So this is the, this is the part where you frame. Lay the towel on and you pry. I let, let my hair out a bit with that. It just means that, um, you know, you've got to probably on the damp paper, knowing that it soaks in a lot more, is to make allowances for that and make the colours a little stronger than you normally would. And, and where do I see a warm colour? See? Warm colour. So I'm looking for the places where I can see warm colour in here. I'm looking for the warm before the cool often. So you know, I'm saying, ah, oh, I put a warm colour in here. I put it in the spot, but I haven't actually sort of said, well, okay, I haven't put it in exact, it's not really exact, and I'm, I'm leaving some space for other areas of the paint. If I use something like a cobalt violet or an ultramarine violet colour in here, I can sort of paint some violet colour in there. I can do that. If I want some other bright colours to go in early, I can do that. So I'm kind of building up uh, a background, a bit like Seago. A bit like Seago. I'm building, a little, building in, before the actual painting, I'm building in a little bit of the the main sort of uh, shade. Uh, that's a nice colour. That's a nice moving colour. I want the building. So when I'm painting across here, my little finger steadies my hand, and away we go. So get across and down. And across. And then down, and down, and then there, and then there, and then there, like that. Now, That kind of got a, it starts off with a very soft edge. Sometimes when I've left a little space for that, I'm looking for, you know, perhaps the highlights uh, that I can put in as bright reds in here. And it builds up bit by bit from there. Then, then I start to get sighted and <coughs> use some stronger middle values. If I can feel that the paint is drying at the right stage, I can start to do that. And the timing of the wash in here and all that kind of really important. So I haven't really used a lot of colour actually. I haven't used a lot. Cad reds, um, cobalts, and um, but the colours 
Uh, even even a line can be corrected when it's on damp paper. So I've put the shape of a pole in here. <laughs> you do it quick, the paint's over. Yeah, it doesn't come up very far. In here. There's a few other poles in here. There's a shape across here. <coughs> <laughs> What's that? I think that's the most important to my mind when the is there. You know? And, you know, you sort of say, well, I'll kind of lay out that and have it in here, lay out some bigger shapes to join up, connect, join up, connect. Uh, maybe somebody crossing the road, the heads line up. Things like that. And, like, <coughs> in terms of Colour, I'm trying to keep the colour simple so you understand it, but you know, like in here, here, and with the darker tones, in here. It's a, it's a magic mirror. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've broken so many mirrors. How are you deciding how dark to go on the foreground? Is it just a balance of the yeah, dark Yeah, well you sort of get, get to know just how far that's going to go back. So. But your mirror Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Can actually do that. Um, yes. Yeah.